What up guys, Nico Sports Cards here coming back at you with another video. We're gonna be doing a magnifying glass look at a couple of cards to see if we can sniff out defects on what these otherwise tens would be because these look sick to the naked eye. We're gonna look at them, then we're gonna get under the scope and see what we can find out. But first one is an 87 tops Jim Kelly rookie. I love this card, I don't have it in a 10. I wanna say the pop is like 400, something like that. So I pulled this one out, it looks perfect, right? Centering looks good. This is kind of the naked eye view. Corners look sharp. Right, everything is, everything is legit. Or is it? We'll check it out. Second one is this Ozzy Smith that I pulled on the channel. Ozzy Smith rookie, I love this card. Love this card. Um, normally this card has centering issues. So when I pulled this and I was like, this is basically pack fresh. Centering's dope. Let's have a look at the corners. Look how good that looks. So I'm really hoping this one holds up because at the first look, it's stunning. And then I'm gonna do a Brock Purdy. So this is just like your basic modern card. Let's see if we can find out what pin, what uh, PSA sees when they look at modern cards, because this is this could be a 10, this could be a nine, this could be an eight, this could be a seven, who knows? Um, anyway, all right, let's get into the depths of the magnifying glass. Be right back. All right, I'm back. Okay, so this is the Jim Kelly, all right? Right now, I'm on the top right section of the card. That's the top edge. Pretty good, pretty good. Those like hairs, that's normal for 80s card stock. All right, we're gonna hit the corners. That's key. Yeah, see that corner? You never would pick that up with the naked eye. It's probably okay for PSA standards. Let's keep going. Edges, edges are a big one. Yeah, you see that? They probably let that go. Oh, that's rough. Yowza. Dudes, hold on. Let's get a closer look at that. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. These edges are a problem. Let's go to the corner. Oh, man. That's not good. I don't think that's good. I don't think that's good. Me, personally, I think that's good. But still, nothing blatant that would be like, oh, you can't give this thing a nine or 10. Even that even that edge, they let some of that stuff go for 80s cards. There's so much chipping. It's probably okay. I still think we're in nine category right now. We lost, we lost the 10 with that bottom right edge. That's my call. All right, so front's fine, probably a nine. Let's check the back corners. Oh, see, that's good. That's a really sharp 80s corner. Back edges look really good. Looks good. Corners, excellent. It's crazy. Look at that cardstock. It's just like, yeah, it's just, it's everything you think about old baseball cards, like just the way that cardstock looks. You'll see the mod, okay, here we got a problem. You'll see the modern cards in a minute. Totally different look. See the staining there? That's, um, they probably wouldn't knock it, but if there were two of those, they would. And then you see that circle? I think they call that a fisheye. Those are, again, really common in the way they printed these in the 80s. You see them a lot in basketball cards too, tops basketball cards. Um, but they'll, they'll pop up. I think there was another one. Yeah, there's a couple here. There's one there, and there's one in the corner. So I think there's enough of them where they could probably ding me for it, like a print defect on the back if they wanted. But anyway, that's the Jim Kelly. Looked perfect to the naked eye. Probably eight, what do you guys think? Eight or nine, right? Okay, let's do the Ozzy Smith. Now, this is a, how old is this card? This is from 1979. Wow. It's a 44 year old card. Let's see how it held up. Okay, top right. That looks fantastic. Okay, so that corner definitely has a little bit of wear, but 
not so much that they would crush you on it. If there's two corners like that, you're done. These edges are actually better than the Jim Kelly. Okay, that corner definitely, oh, I kinda, how can I get it a little bit closer? Let's see if we can do this. Let's go, boys. All right, yeah, that's uh, that's got some chipping. All right, so we're out on corners. We're already down to a nine. Edges, that's pretty rough. See what I mean? That's why you gotta buy one of these things, guys. You can really like test your card before you send it in. Yeah, all right, that's pretty bad. You can see one, two, three major chips, and the the uh, ink was starting to fade there. It's on its way out. It's on its way out. So we're probably at a seven right now. The thing that saves this is the centering is awesome. And this is a really, the corner's great. This is a hard card to get centered. Look at it, just type in, like go to, go to eBay and put in like Ozzy Smith. Look at that, Shh, look at that corner, dudes. Awesome, back is fantastic. Yeah, just type in Ozzy Smith, rookie. And um, you can look at like PSA sevens and sixes and the eights. Are, they're either really off centered with nice corners or they're centered with disaster corners. This one's pretty good. You got a little print, you got some print problems right there, but I, I think that's okay. Eh, longer than I would have hoped. That's a pretty big, you can't really see that with the naked eye. Okay, the back I think is a nine back and the front I'm saying is like a seven or eight front. So I think I can get lucky with an eight. Lucky, all right, let's do the party. Modern card, base stock, okay? And there's a point to this. So here's the deal. Look how different the cards are these. This is this is just like metal. It's like pure metallic. They're, it's almost harder to get a card with bad edges than it is to get one without because they just they've they've got the cutting down to a science. So that looks fine. I mean I don't know maybe that's some edge wear. Who knows? That's kind of a weird edge. Mm, that looks like scratches. So that probably would ding you. But other than that, the surface looks good. Boom, boom, boom. Corner there is fine. That was just the lighting. Let's check the back. Yeah, back corner is sharp. Uh, you could, if someone was in a bad mood, they'd probably ding me on that one. All right. And top corner. Sorry for all the movement. That's just how this goes. Yeah, so here's what these come down to. Centering and surface. That's it. That's it. Let me flip this back. All right, dudes, I'm back. So that's it. That's that's how it goes. That's how it goes with the magnifying glass. You find stuff you wish you didn't, but you got to be honest with yourself because if you look at it like this and you take a good look, you're like, all right, we are in business. This card is perfect. Send it in, you think you're gonna get a 10, boom. Maybe an eight, maybe a nine. The Aussie, look at that centering. Check the corners and you're like, cool, 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 cool. Everything looks good. This is gonna get a nine or a 10. And then you see it the way they see it and it's a seven or an eight. And then this one, whatever. I feel like modern is arbitrary. Anyway, I like doing these, I think it's, I think the way they grade older cards is so interesting because there's stuff, there's like stuff on there we don't even know exists. And these graders are super into it. Anyway, God bless them. They do, they do work hard on this stuff. The mo I, don't, I don't get modern grading, grading. It's high volume, it's like hit or miss. You can send it in once, get to nine, send it in next, get to 10, who knows. The old stuff is legit, real deal. All right, that's all I got for you guys. Um, let me know if you like this kind of video. I can do more of them, but either way, thank you guys for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Please have a great day. For now, I'm out. Peace.